So a couple weeks ago, I was playing Reach on on my stream. Uh, classic old school M. Dicky game, right? And a couple people in in Twitch chat raised the question of just how in the world I was playing an old school M. Dicky game in the year 2020 properly. Um, because if you're not in the loop, the old M. Dicky desktop uh, computer games really don't play ball too kindly with uh, modern PCs. I think Windows 10 is the issue. So I figured, uh, I explained it on stream, I figured I'd make a little video uh, tutorial out there just to try and really simply and easily break down um, a simple way to get those old M. Dickey desktop games to work on Windows 10, modern hardware. Uh, now, before I go any further, this is by no means the only way to do this. I don't even know if this is the best way to do this. I'm going to be honest with you. This is just a method that uh, I used, and it worked for me, so I figured I'd throw it out there. If you go to M. Dickey's website, there's a uh, software he uh, throws out there called, I think, DXWND uh, as a means to make it work. I've never used that. I downloaded it, but I, I wasn't really sure how to get it to work. He doesn't have, like, a tutorial or something. Um, so I found something different through the help of uh, some other more knowledgeable folk in the in the community. But regardless, just throwing that out there because I guarantee you there's probably some M. Dickey historian out there who's going to watch this video, see this method, and leave a comment like, actually, uh, you know, if you use this software and, and you route it with this method, it's actually 63% uh, more efficient when you actually run the game. And also, I have never kissed a girl. <laughs> Look, uh, again, this is by no means the only way to do it. This is by no means necessarily the best way to do it. This is just the way I found that works. So let's get right into it. Uh, the program I use is a little something called DG Voodoo. And I'll also mention I'm going to leave a link to this website in the video description. It The URL totally looks like it's going to give you a virus, but don't worry. As far as I can tell, it doesn't. Now, I've tastefully placed my cam to hide the zip file's password because it has a naughty word in it. Don't tell anybody. Shh. But basically, um, if you go on this website, there's a whole bunch of versions you can download. I'm not sure that it necessarily matters, but because I like things simple, I just downloaded what was purported as the latest stable version. Okay, once you do that, you're going to be greeted with this uh, mess of files. It would help if I now move my camera in a, in a better spot. You're going to be greeted with all this. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't messed with the control panel at all, but I would imagine it's a way to tweak settings if, for whatever reason, things aren't working 100% correctly. Now, second of all, uh, what you're going to need to do is open up your actual M. Dickey Games directory. Real quick, uh, um, if you don't know the uh, pathway to it, most likely it's going to be, you know, computer, local disk, program files, M. Dickey, and then, you know, any M. Dickey game you've installed to that directory, but this is the default directory, is going to show up here. So if we were to use Reach as an example, you go into Reach, you got all this stuff. This is basically just the data of the game. It's very simple. Uh, M. Dickey's old games are not too complex. Now, what I did to make it work, if we go back to our DG Voodoo files that we have now extracted, um, you've got a, a handful of folders in addition to this other stuff. So what I did, again, not saying this is the best version, not saying this is the only way, this is what I did, and it worked. Went to the 3DFX folder, x86, select these three DLLs, copy them, control C, and then paste them into your M. Dickey game file. Now, the next thing I did was I went back to the DG Voodoo thing, took this MS folder, x86, copy pasta those three DLLs, and that's it. Uh, you can now play the game, or at least I can now play the game, in full screen or windowed, and it's not going to have any of the quirks that it would otherwise have. I'll boot it up real quick, for example. Uh, one way you'll know that things are working properly, you might notice in the bottom right there's a little DG Voodoo watermark. Now, I will also mention, 
the resolution is messed up. Uh, I believe there is a way to fix that, but I mean, by default, it's going to be running in, uh, well, I have it at 1280 by 800, which is why the resolution looks weird in this video. Um, but regardless, on my main monitor, it's full screen, it works, everything looks fine. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, again, not necessarily the best solution, uh, not the only solution, but it's fast, it's relatively easy. And thus far, it's worked for me. So if you want to play MDiki games in 2020, there you go. That's basically all you have to do. So hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I will see you guys later.